Okay, this is Angela Tomo with Dogwood Paper Arts, and I am back to do the Marguerite Miller Challenge. I'm doing assignment eight. So what do you do when your creativity keeps veering way off course? I have one item in here. Um, I'm supposed to have something that has a plug. I don't. I'm supposed to have a house. I don't. I have a photo of a family member. This is my granddaughter. I'm supposed to have a piece of letter or postcard. Well, I have this letter in the background. I haven't put any stitching on it. I haven't stamped it. And there is cursive in there. But what do you do when your, um, your collage is veering seriously off course? Well, I decided after listening to Marguerite Miller and after listening to a couple other people talk about collage that you go with the flow. And so today we're going with the flow and we are going to make this collage. So I'm going to slip it all off over there. And I don't know if I'll remember how I put it on here. We're going to um, put this piece of paper down. So I am going to need oh a glue book, a book I glue on, I should say. Whoa, I've got a pile of paper waiting over here for me to do something with it. Okay, so this one just seriously veered off course and I was afraid that it would when I picked up that picture because I immediately thought well you know I've been wanting to do something with that picture I want I've been wanting to do a big collage with my granddaughter in it um, I just haven't gotten around to it um, you know time constraints and all that and, and I knew it would be a long project, so I just never did it. So I had this little one that I had left over from thinking about that project. Uh, I'm going to start this right at the bottom, right about there. Slowly roll it up, and if it goes over, it goes over. But I don't want it to go over onto my mat. There we go. Now, I do have this little bee here that has just flown in. And he wants to be over here. Okay, the bee is down. Okay, so I have this. This is from Amy at Crafty Cat. She has these for sale, or did have them for sale, in her It's a Shop. So I want to put this down back there. So I'm going to put glue on the back side of it. Um, I'm not inking today. I probably should be. I wonder. I guess maybe I should since I've got the old coffee dyed later letter back there. I'm going to put this right here. Okay. Now, I want to put this flower down. I don't know. I guess right about there. I really don't know where, but I know I want it there. I don't remember where I got this one from. If it was from a book or... Uh, oh, it's from somebody's kit. 
I don't remember which kit though. I'm sorry, I really don't. So let's stick that all down. Okay. And then I'm going to put, I think I'm going to put this one kind of under here, just like that. Should kind of stick to that one because there's glue coming up out of it. Okay. And now this piece. We're going to put it up there. Um, I think we'll put my granddaughter right here. Isn't she precious? I cut that out. I need to get some glue on that. Although that would have been good to put over her dress there, wouldn't it? Yeah, it will look like the leaf is on her dress. This was not that easy to cut out. But it's sure fun. I put it on a piece of um, heavy duty paper. Um, so it would be easier to cut out and then glue down. I didn't leave a fingerprint in it. Now, this little butterfly is going to go somewhere like this. Oh, not like that. Probably like that. Put a little bit of glue back there. Oh, it's going to fall off, you guys. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. I lost it. Okay. Somewhere like this. really got to press that down because I, well, I hope it works you know the I it is printed out on photo paper so that could make a difference okay so I, I'm going to make her the dispatcher of butterflies it's what I'm going to do so I want to put this one right here to just call her the dispatcher the butterfly dispatcher so when all the butterflies are born, she dispatches them into the wild, wild woods. <laughs> and I think, should we put it here? Probably here. 
Now I debated, do we need a giant? No, we don't. We need to put this in. I know I haven't inked everything up. Just got an idea in my head and thought I'd better go with it. I think we're going to put part of it under there. And then I have this one that says simply the best ever. Now, all of my grandkids are the best ever. I have to say that because I do have 12. <laughs> and if they're listening, well, they need to know they're all the best. Simply the best ever. Now, how do we connect that to this? I mean, it's connected in the background there, but um, now I need some extra butterflies. These are leftover butterflies from the Countryside um, Journal. And let's put this yellow one down. And I have this little feather that was dropped down. from a little bird. And it fell right about here. There we go. And then here's another butterfly. There we go. And here we go. Gotta have a red one. What else does it need? I feel like it needs something. Um, there's an apple. Doesn't need an apple. No. No apple. It's too late to put in a postcard. Throw that apple away. That's not what we want. Okay, I'll we'll put it right in there. Um, you know what she needs is some leaves around her legs or something because she's in the forest. Maybe like that. We'll tear that one off. And I will grunge this one up a little bit because we don't want the bright white background. Even though we do already have some of those. And i got to find some glue that I like. I don't mind this glue. I just am sick of it clogging up the pinhole. <laughs> to 
be honest with you. I think the Barely Art Glue, I'll check my nozzle on that one, see how it's doing. There we go. Got a little butterfly flying under the plant. There we go. And no, not that. Nope. What I need is some ferns. I could use that as a fern, couldn't I? Let me just fussy tear these. Put a couple of ferns in there. So, I would suggest when you're off course, you just go with it. You can make a note in your journal if you like. Or, just, you know, let it let it be like it is we don't need to explain ourselves we are the wonders of the world people are always wondering what we're up to and what we're making and how do we do it So, probably should have a third one of those, huh? There. I think it needs something behind these wings. But I'm really not sure what it would be. Um, the only thing I can think of is that it... No, it doesn't need that. I guess it doesn't need anything more. Because I can't think of anything more. Oh, I know what it needs. I know. Not that. No, not that. Here's another feather. I don't know where these came from. There we go. Nope. I think it's done. I think that's what we're going with. Is that. Um, I probably should have put some tool or something behind her. I think that probably would have helped. 
but I think I think that's good. I think we'll leave it just like that. And we'll save you for later, Mr. Bunny. Okay, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this quick collage. Let me show it to you. We got the best ever. We have my granddaughter. And she is the dispatcher of butterflies. See, she has one in her hand. It's kind of, I kind of made it messy. But she's getting those butterflies out there into the world for spring. And that's all I have for today. Thank you for joining me. I sure appreciate you being here. And I hope you enjoyed this collage time. See you later. Bye.